it is wash day for the burner and tapey household today. So before we go out, um, laundry. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Search. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be shooting around the city of Savannah with uh, a new friend of mine that I kind of met briefly over the summer. He is a, another very talented photographer and he's somebody that I think you'll see quite often in podcast episodes, maybe some future episodes here on YouTube. Uh, his name is Davis Clem. Um, Davis is an absolutely brilliant photographer when it comes to landscape and street photography, portraiture. I'm a big fan of all of his work and it was so exciting to be able to collaborate on this video together. You can check out more of his work on his website. I absolutely love everything that he's doing right now. His photos of mountains and landscapes are absolutely breathtaking and his photos of street photography and people are what really made me want to do this video with him just because we see things pretty similarly when it comes to stuff like that. And I think his work really speaks for itself. I, I'm a big fan, so I'm super excited to be able to show you guys more. Davis hit me up over the summer after uh, he found out that I would be living in Savannah. We met each other briefly one night uh, over the summer, but he has been living back at his house. And now that school has started back up, he's back here in Savannah. So we kind of took that opportunity and went out for a little afternoon stroll through Savannah. So this is that episode. Thank you so much for joining. We're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna be cutting in and out here, interjecting because I did a big, stupid, dumb, goof move halfway through the video, uh, which you'll find out. So, all right. Oh, the, the framing of the trees? Yeah. That's like, perfect. This is just amazing. It's such a nice park. What's so interesting is that about half the time that Davis and I are shooting, we're standing within about 30 feet of one another. And I didn't notice about more than 85% of the things that he was shooting at the time. I think that just goes to show that our perspectives are very, very different, yet we're still seeing the same things. We're still looking at everything around us. We just happen to see different perspectives. I think that Davis does a very good job of finding the minute details and the beautiful aspects of all those tiny intricacies. Whereas I think that I'm more focused on the grandiose picture, the one that the one that completes the scene, not the tiny part that's in the scene. Um, and it's really interesting to see those two perspectives right next to each other. This past segment right there, I think it was really interesting that Davis was shooting a lot of the stuff that it was on the sidewalk that I wasn't even looking at. I didn't even look down half the time that I was shooting and I'm sure I missed tons of stuff, but that's just not how my brain works. And it's obvious that that's how Davis's brain works. And it's really cool to see two different artists compare and contrast their different viewpoints.
this point during the day, tragedy struck. That moped's really good. Before we went out shooting, I could have sworn, I could have sworn that I had charged my battery. And rookie mistake, I only have one battery. I just got my new camera. I hadn't purchased another one. The battery life usually lasts forever. The battery on the D850 lasts a lifetime. And I thought that I was fully charged. Turns out I didn't plug it in. Um, so big rookie mistake. My battery died and we had to stop shooting for about an hour, really. Shout out to Davis for coming back to the crib and let me charge the camera and then we just headed right back out. I didn't even get a full charge. I think I only got two bars until I was like, all right, now is enough time for me to be able to shoot. We headed back home. Unfortunately, I missed a lot of shots. I was not done shooting in that last location where Davis got where Davis got that photo of the house coming out of the shrubberies and everything. I really wanted to take some photos there, but my camera died. So the little walk back, I was a little upset and was just teasing Davis and everything. Ooh, look at him being able to take his shots. Ooh. <laughs> Hate you. Look at how good that Thankfully though, we headed back out for the end of the day and there was still a little bit of sunlight out. So we were able to manage some more really good photographs. So enjoy.
that's going to be it for the video today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of The Search with a special guest, Davis Clem. My beautiful girlfriend, Sophie, is going to come over here really quick because she looks absolutely gorgeous. Hi. Hi. Mm. Oh, you kissed me, me. I know. I didn't mean to. It's okay. Mm. Uh, Sophie's parents and my parents are actually coming up from Florida right now as I am recording this. You're going to go? Uh, Sophie's making us some lunch, so I'm lunch. very excited. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining me. I can't wait to produce another episode of The Search that will be coming out probably next Saturday as well. I think that I'm gonna try and produce those for the weekends, just because it kinda, I like shooting throughout the week and stuff like that, uh, as well as a... Do you want a regular potato or sweet potato? Sweet potato. Okay. Um, as well as another episode of crafting a photograph and uh, life through the lens. I think that my next episode of life through the lens is going to be on Vivian Meyer. So be looking forward to that. But again, thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to go check out the website, the Instagram, as well as the TikTok. Go ahead and follow my boy Davis Clem on Instagram as well. Check him out on TikTok and also go and visit his website. Both of us have prints available on our stores, so consider getting one for yourself. And thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Get out there and tell a story without saying a word. Now get out there and get shooting.